that span from the details of the deferred payment agreement and also from the commercial agreement itself. First of all, the deferred payment agreement is embedded in it what we call sovereign guarantee. In the past, sovereign guarantees are passed separately. But today, the first time in our history, we are seeing a sovereign guarantee embedded in a deferred payment agreement. Sovereign guarantees are only issued for a debt instrument. And this government is telling us that it is not a debt. Finally, today, the chairman of the finance committee he, as part of his debate in Parliament, and Dr. Koto said, as part of their debate in Parliament, all of them considered that as a debt. In fact, a loan. They use the words loans. And let me say, for the record, that this is an extremely expensive loan. Extremely expensive loan. The original EPC contract, the value of the original EPC contract, spanning from lot 1 to lot 10, is amounting to 497 million US dollars. Of this amount, the government of Ghana is to contribute 74 million US dollars. And the contractor who is going to borrow on behalf of Ghana is going to borrow an amount of 422 million. Now, I will take you through how much we are spending. Overall, the government of Ghana is spending 4.1 million US dollars in management fees. We are also spending commitment fees, an amount of 2.6 million US dollars. We are going to spend what we call Sinusio insurance premium, insurance premium alone, 62.2 million US dollars. Interest fees for the interest during the construction period is 80.3 million US dollars. If you are to add all four items together, it will give you 149.6, approximately 150 million US dollars. So in effect, in effect, we are actually asking Sino Hydro to give us a loan of 42 million US dollars, but we are paying interest of 150 million US dollars. This is extremely expensive, extremely expensive. Today, we were told by the chairman of the finance committee that management fee, we are going to borrow to pay for the management fee. The commitment fee, we are also going to be going out there to borrow to pay for the commitment fee. He says that even the insurance premium, we are going to borrow to pay for the insurance premium. And to the extent that even the interest, interest for the first three years and beyond, government of Ghana is going to pay, borrow to pay for the interest. This is really sad. Unfortunately, this is really sad. From what we are seeing, government of Ghana is hiding something. Because clearly, they are not giving us the total information that we've asked for. Because I am even looking at it that if you are to compare 422 million to the total EPC contract or total cost that they have told us of 646 million EPC amount, including finance cost, then indeed, the government of Ghana is spending 224 million US dollars, not even the 150 million US dollars. I think it's a bit too much, and there's the need for us to let the government be aware that where they are going, they should be careful. They should be careful. In the, in the deferred payment agreement, clearly they have considered that this is a biased credit and it's a loan. Biased credit and it's a loan. They have also considered that the contractor, Sino Hydro, is going to borrow and assign their right to the government of Ghana. And government of Ghana has irrevocably undertaken as part of the loan to pay the bank. So the government of Ghana, they, what the Sino Hydro is doing is that they are only a contractor arranging buyer's credit for and on behalf of the Republic of Ghana. It is nothing but a loan, and all of us be made aware. And finally, finally, in the deferred payment agreement, we were told that they are going to use bauxite revenue. Let me assure the nation that yes, bauxite revenue are part of government of Ghana's revenue. That revenue is what they intend to use to pay for the loan. And when the bauxite revenue is not enough, Ministry of Finance, under the Deferred Payment Agreement, is supposed to mobilize tax revenue for the purposes of settling, settling the debt. Indeed, we know that the bauxite revenue, as we speak, is not even there. We don't have a refinery to refine the bauxite to alumina in the first place. We don't have a buyer. We don't know who is actually the infrastructure in place to mine the bauxite. is not even available. So where is the money? That is